everybody. Today is Monday and it's freezing out. It is 19 degrees right now. <clears throat> it's nice and sunny today, but very cold. So this is like the first day I've actually had to wear gloves because I'm going to have to go pump gas and I don't want to do that when it's freezing. Um, we're headed to school and then I got to go meet my uncle so we can go to BJ's. As I've explained that before, I like to get like Aiden's fruit snacks. <clears throat> Excuse me. His fruits, yeah, his fruit snacks and stuff for lunch in bulk. So my uncle and I went halves on a BJ's membership and he has the card and everything. So we, we were going like once a month, but then didn't go at all the past few months. So, um, um, what are you doing? Do. Are you ready for school? Yes. Yes. That's good. Um, maybe I don't need to get gas. So I know I have to. I have to go all the way there, and then I gotta drive to the place too because my uncle's Jeep. The heat isn't working right now, and the part that he had to order for it isn't coming until Wednesday. So I was like, I'll just drive because. <coughs> vehicle that can carry all the stuff now. Um, Why are you laughing? Why are you laughing? I'm just waiting to leave. Okay, so we can leave now. I just wanted to check in. Last week's vlog was so long, I apologize for that. I talked way too much, so I need to just like film less or film more interesting things. I tend to just film as I'm driving and then I talk and talk and talk and it just makes it way too long, so... I don't know if you guys enjoy that or not, but I don't enjoy editing it, so I'm going to try and make this week shorter. You want to say goodbye to everybody? Bye everybody! I go to school! You go to school! I don't know why he has to sing it. So, the other day this came because I had ordered it from Home Shopping Network. It is a rug shampooer device type thing. The bottom um, tank is in the tub because I cleaned it out because I used it on the... Uh, what do you call it? The living room floor the other day. So I only did like, I didn't do the deep clean, so there's still spots there, but it's so much cleaner looking than it was. And the main reason I got this is because Aiden's rug in his room is a cream color, which I don't know why his grandma thought this color and cream were good carpet colors. I would never put such light carpet in a house. But anyway... This one's constantly getting filthy, and we always rent the rug machine from Home Depot, and it's like $30 every time we rent it. So I was like, I'm just going to get one. And let me show you why I got it for his room. Like, slick stick soft crayons, they kind of tend to crumble, and he was stepping on it, like not on purpose, and it got all over his rug, and I can't really get it out. Like, it comes out, but then it does this, and kind of just makes everything pink. So I'm hoping that the carpet cleaner is going to take care of this. And that is my project for today. I'm going to clean his carpet, um, like, as soon as he goes to school, so that it has time to dry, because it's like a faster drying one. Like, when I did the, the one in the living room, and I did the stairs, too. I forgot to show you that. The stairs are so nice and clean now. They were like black before, but it, the attachment works really well on the stairs, and they only took, they took like three hours to dry, so I figure if I do it as soon as I drop him at school, it'll be fine when he comes home. But he's been like playing out here when he comes home anyway, so that's good. Um, but yeah, that's going to be my project today, is cleaning. I went and bought a gallon of the cleaning solution, which is like, it was like $25 for the jug of it. But you only use this much. There's still a little bit left in there. You only use this much to that line every time you do like a... Well, I want to say like that amount, I went through it twice to do this rug and to do the stairs. And this is what was left. And I didn't want to dump that because I didn't want to waste it. But um, the size jug that I got of it, I think it's a gallon. It'll last a while. So it's not like 
buying a $25 jug every time you have to do the carpets, you know, so it's not, <laughs> it's not as expensive as renting the carpet machine every time. And now my grandma's excited that I got this because she was like, I'll rent it off of you because she really needs to do her rugs. So that is going to be my project for today is playing with the carpet machine. It's not too loud. It kind of just sounds like a vacuum cleaner. So pretty cool. I'm excited. You can tell you're an adult when you get excited about like household appliances. <laughs> you want to say hi, bud? Hi. So we were going to school. I had everything set. I was ready to leave and then I forgot his backpack in the house. So I had to go get it. <sighs> now it's hot in here because I let it warm up for so long. Whew. My goodness. It snowed a little bit and then it stopped. I was getting excited. I thought we were going to have some snow. But, um. Oh, I got a, a thing in the mail the other day saying that our health insurance, like, something about I didn't send in the correct paperwork to prove that my, to show my proof of income, which I sent in twice because I had received a letter saying they needed my proof of income when we, like, reapplied for this year and I sent it in and then I got another letter saying we still haven't received your proof of income so I sent again sent the copy again and now it's saying you're we didn't receive what we needed so your health insurance is going to be $778 a month <laughs> what oh, we get it through like the the connector care thing and it, it denied me and Steven like they can't deny Aiden because he's on mass health and he's technically has a disability, so he can't be denied health insurance. But I guess me and Steven aren't gonna have it for a while until this gets straightened out because I don't know where else to get it from. Like, they're trying to force us to get it through his work. I know that's what they're doing. We get dental through his work, but health insurance through his work is gonna take out like a hundred and something dollars a week, and we can't afford that. I don't know why health insurance is so freaking expensive, but it drives me insane. So now I have to worry about this. It's like, neither one of us better have anything happen or get sick because we don't have insurance right now. <sighs> so aggravating. I don't know what else they want from me. I put on all the paperwork that I'm self-employed and all I have to show for my proof of income is like the tax paperwork from last year and the thing that PayPal sends me for all the payments and stuff. Like the form that they send for me in order to fill out the self-employment taxes and stuff. Ugh. And it, it seems like all these, these companies, like when we were trying to do the the social security paperwork for Aiden. Like, you keep sending things into them that they ask for, and then they never get it. Like, you physically have to go down there and wait in line forever to get anything done. And then, like, with the health insurance thing, I don't know where you're supposed to physically go. We're gonna go to school. You should love her. I love you. <laughs> you gonna say bye? Bye, everybody. I go to school. I'm going to school. <laughs> Okay, so you guys saw the carpet before, and now I just got done cleaning Aiden's rug. And, I mean, there's still some pink that you can see, but it did a hell of a good job considering that that's been, like, grinded into his carpet and sitting there for a couple of weeks. Um, it even took care of the stain here. That was that Yoo-Hoo stain that I couldn't get out. I did have to, like... Um, after I went over it with the carpet machine itself, I had to use the hose attachment to really, like, scrub. But it did a really good job, so I am happy with it. That was definitely a worth it investment, considering he'll probably have another mess on the rug in here within the next week or so. So I don't have to go rent the machine every time. And, like, the carpet machine at um, Home Depot, or, like, pretty much anywhere, they're the same thing where you rent them from. It's so heavy that I can't do it. So with this one, it's a little bit lighter and I can do it myself. Like, not putting all my strength into it to pull it across the floor and everything. So, it did a really good job. I'm excited. He doesn't have big red stains all over it anymore. This green one I couldn't get out. But that's just a tiny little dot compared to what it was. I'm glad that it's not hugely stained anymore. And you kind of have to, like, 
get real close and look at it to see the pink and the red and everything. So it's a lot better than it was. So my mission for today, today is Wednesday. Um, I didn't even say good morning yet, but this faucet has been leaking and I can't fix it. <laughs> I just tried to mess with it and I think I made it worse. Because you're supposed to be able to like untwist the things but on this one it doesn't work that way because this is so old I guess I don't know I'm gonna see if I can find a cheap faucet um because on online Walmart says that they have some for like ten dollars so that might be my project for the day if I can't get this off of here I'm gonna have to wait until Steven comes home to do it but I would like to <clears throat> prove that I'm handy in some way and try and fix that but I gotta go get the faucet and uh I want to get window insulation like the plastic for windows because the windows downstairs are so drafty and even like this one is kind of drafty basically pretty much all the windows in this house need to be redone except for a few of them I don't know why they didn't have them all redone at once but Aiden's room isn't too drafty downstairs is super drafty Go, Bill. And these up here are all okay for now, but it's just like the heat has been constantly running and it's driving me crazy. And then like I'm freezing, so I have to turn the heat on. <laughs> it stinks. So that's going to be my... Whoa, at least it's sunny today. I kept the box for the, um, geez, the uh, carpet cleaner just in case. I didn't like it or it didn't work good, but now today they're taking the recycling, so I'll be able to fit that well, in there, rip it up and put it in there. The Apple computers? Apple computers? Is that what you have at school? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mama doesn't like Apple. <laughs> um, what else was I going to say? This was the little magnet that I had made for everybody of Aiden's self-portrait. I don't know if I mentioned that his his art teacher gave us a website where she uploads some of their projects so that you can like put them on gifts and stuff. You can get coffee mugs and it was this one. That's the original that he brought home like the day before Christmas vacation. <clears throat> she just uploaded another one yesterday. That's like a snowman thing, but we'll have to order a magnet with that on it too. What are you doing? And my powdered toast man apron is hanging right there. <laughs> All right, we gotta get ready to go to school. Hey guys, so I was repl I have a hat on because I'm freezing, and I just got this one, and it actually like I've had such a hard problem, a hard time trying to find like a nice stretchy hat because my hair is so thick that if I just wear a regular beanie, it like. When I move my head, it just wants to roll up and, like, doesn't cover my ears and stuff. So this one is... I got this off the Wish app, which is surprising, because it's nice and stretchy, and it fits my massive uh, lion's mane of hair underneath. But anyway, I was just replying to um, comments and stuff from the last couple videos, because for some reason my phone isn't um, sending me notifications when I get YouTube uh, messages on my YouTube videos anymore. And I was just thinking, I was like, I've uploaded two videos and haven't gotten any comments, which, like, I don't get tons of comments, but I usually get a few. So I went and checked my Gmail, and sure enough, it said, you have this comment and this comment, and I, um, it, like, got me to thinking that I should, like, answer some of these questions that people ask on here, um, like in a new vlog, I got a question and like my, one of my friends like brought it up the other night too, which was, um, why doesn't Steven's dad just sell the house to us? And honestly, I don't think they've even talked about that because really, I feel like his dad has it set in his mind that the house got assessed for like three hundred and twenty five thousand dollars the last time it was assessed and that's how much he wants for it but he's never gonna get that much for it if he doesn't fix everything that's wrong with it like the attic needs to be insulated I've said that so many times like in the summertime 
the air conditioning can be full blast. There's central air in this house. It can be on full blast 24-7, and it's still like 90 degrees up here in the upper part of the house. Um, because the attic isn't insulated, so all the hot air, when it's super hot out, is just radiating into the house. And same thing in the wintertime, the heat will run and run and run. I'm freezing right now because I turned the heat down to try and save some money, and the attic isn't insulated, so all the freezing cold air is coming down, and all the windows, pretty much all the windows uh, downstairs need to be replaced because they're so drafty, and I just spent the whole morning uh, insulating them with that, like, the plastic um, window kits. So hopefully that helps some. I know the windows in our room um, are so freaking drafty. Like, you can stand near it and just feel cold air pouring in. So, I mean, that's not good for energy efficiency because all the heat is just flying out. And that's why the heat is constantly running. And in the summertime, same thing with the air conditioning. The heat is all coming in, so... It's just annoying. There's so much stuff that needs to be fixed, and, like, if he was gonna sell it to us, I would... It would have to be for way less than what it's, what it's assessed for and what he thinks he's gonna get, so I just think that that's not gonna work out. Like, we would both probably like to do that because then we wouldn't have to worry about moving and changing Aiden's school and everything, but I just don't think that would work out, so... Um, that's the main reason. <laughs> uh, another thing is, like, he, I told you guys his dad was just down here not too long ago. It was the last week or the week before. Um, and, yeah, not this past weekend, but the weekend before he was down. And he hardly even talked to us. So, like, I thought he was coming down to, like, he didn't give us much notice. He told us that morning, he texted Stephen and said, I'll be here at noon. But I thought he was coming down to at least, like, talk to him about some things and get some things laid out on the table, because as of right now, we have no idea what he's thinking or what's going on. And I hate that. Like, I hate not knowing what's going on. Um, like, the only thing that's keeping me from being too upset about it and like worrying too much is the fact that so much needs to be done with this house before he sells it. Um, if he decides to just sell it and get whatever for it, then we're screwed because he's gonna like out of the blue be like, I'm selling the house and then we have to figure something out. And that's what I don't want to happen. That's like worst case scenario. But, um, I don't know. I just figured I would answer that question. <laughs> is that for one, they haven't even really talked about that, and two, uh, I don't think his dad wants to sell it for cheaper than or much cheaper than what it's worth because he wants as much as he can get for it. Because I know he was talking about getting a second house, uh, like a he wants a winter home in Florida or something like that. He just wants a second home and he's not going to be able to do that if he sells it to us for like a hundred and something thousand because it's worth three hundred and something thousand because of the friggin' town that it's in. This town is so expensive. That's another reason I'm not like dead set on staying here. But I don't know. We'll figure something out. I'm trying. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to be negative. I'm trying not to be negative. But um... It's just an upsetting situation because, like, the way I look at it, we took care of his mother for so long, and especially the last couple of years when she was really bad, like, we were literally cleaning piss and shit, and this is the thanks we get for it, having to be put through the stress and not knowing what's going on, not having a, a plan set in stone or anything. It's just aggravating. Like, I'm not trying to be greedy and say she should have left us a bunch of money, but, like... Something? <laughs> Something to help us out? Uh, anyway, I just thought I would pop in and answer that question because it popped up and I was like, I should probably talk about that because I haven't talked about it yet. Um, I have some work to finish up and then I've got to go get Aiden from school and... I just made my Hamilton bath bombs. I'm doing like a whole Hamilton collection 
because the first palette is still my best-selling palette and it sold a ton for Christmas and I've had people asking me like are you going hiccups are you going to do any more like Hamilton related items so I decided that I'm gonna do another eyeshadow palette a highlighter palette um, that I just got the packaging packaging for I'm pretty excited about that I actually have one right here that I can show you it's a three pan uh, 36 millimeter pans palette and it's going to be inspired by the Skylar sisters so there's three shades I'm going to make them well I already made them I'm not going to show them to you right now they're actually right over there but um they're inspired by their dresses like the main dresses that they wear like when they're singing the the work song um uh And then the bath bomb, which is like a glittery gold star that I just made. And I ran out of fragrance oil, so I'm going to order more fragrance oil for it so I can make some more. Um, but I want to get that out by like end of January, beginning of February. Because I had another eyeshadow palette planned, and I started doing all this stuff and working on all this stuff before this next palette that I'm doing so I think the next the other palette is gonna end up being like the spring palette um, because the colors are gonna kind of go with a spring theme these are kind of neutrally darker colors than what the first Hamilton palette was because that one had like in, they had the, 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 the. I had the reddish reddish orange I can't talk and like the bright gold in that one and these are more like not subtle but darker a darker color scheme because I wanted it to be totally different than the first one um, so I'm super excited to release this stuff but I've got a lot of work ahead of me with coming up with all the colors and stuff I'm almost done with the colors for the eyeshadows um, there's two of them that I need to kind of tweak and reformulate because they didn't come out the way I wanted them to but three of them are like super awesome so far so I'm glad with that. I have the colors made for the highlighter palette um, so that's done. I just did the bath bombs today so we're rolling along here. Um, uh, what was I gonna say? I have to work on like printing all the stickers and stuff for the palettes. Um, Marshall from Zany Laney is doing the artwork for the highlighter palette, which I'm super excited about. He's also he did the the artwork for my other palette that's coming out, like my springtime palette. So I already have that. I'm so excited to show you guys that. You're gonna love what the theme of it is. Um, but I can't say anything about it right now because I'm keeping it a secret. But there's lots of stuff to look forward to in the new year. So I hope you guys stick with me and. I will do a video about every all the Hamilton stuff when it's done so I can show you like live swatches and stuff because I know you guys like to see that. But I'm going to go for now and finish up what I need to finish up and I will talk to you guys probably tomorrow. I'm leaving earlier than usual because for some reason the past two weeks um, there is a set of traffic lights near Aiden's school and it's fine in the morning but then in the afternoon when I go to pick him up they're flashing red lights which I don't know I don't know why they're doing that um if it's just like a if, sorry my phone shuts off when it hooks up to the car for some reason but um I don't know if they're testing it out in the afternoon or what the heck they're doing but, like, when lights are flashing red like that, you're supposed to treat it as, like, a four-way stop sign. And when I pull up to it, I have to turn left in order to get to his school, um, to get, like, behind it where I go to pick him up. And you can't really see on either side for, like, that's why there's a light there. And, like, I'm scared to death that somebody's gonna hit me because I'll be looking and, like, the cars going this way are just flying through. They're not treating it like a four-way stop sign. So I have to turn right and go all the way around and come up the other side because I'm not getting hit, especially in the Jeep, the brand new friggin' Jeep. So, um, well, new to us anyway. It's not brand, brand new, but it's new to me. <laughs> uh, now it's getting all friggin' uh, 
so yeah I ended up leaving a little bit earlier because it's still it was still like that yesterday they haven't changed it yet and I don't know why they're doing that in the afternoon like there's not a ton of traffic over there so maybe that's why they're doing it like that but it's dangerous because you can't see when you look left and right. There's a big sign for the high school on this on my side over here, and then there's a bunch of trees and bushes on this side that like you have to pull way out in order to see if anyone's coming or not. And nobody's stopping coming this way. It's just it's a four-way intersection and there's a light there, but for some reason it's like that in the afternoon that they put the flash and red lights on and I don't know why they're doing that. It's been like that it was, uh, yesterday and Monday and then all last week it was like that it was when it started last week I don't know what's up I can't find anything about it online the school hasn't said anything about hey this is why the, the lights are flashing in the afternoon so I'm going to finish up the vlog here I just dropped Aiden off at school that's why he's not in the car with me um like I said, it shuts off every time the Jeep connects to the phone. So, as I was saying, uh, it is Friday and I just came back home from dropping him at school because I had uh, a recipe that I wanted to make this weekend and I left the list of the ingredients at home. So I think I'm going to be able to get away with not ordering them from Peapod, which is what I have been doing this week because I ordered so much crap last week. Hear how annoying that is? That does it to me multiple times every morning. It's like the, the Facebook messages don't come through to me. I can't stand the Facebook Messenger app, it's so annoying. But, like, the messages don't come through to me as, like, in a timely manner as they get sent. So I end up getting them all at once in a clump like that. And it's friggin' annoying because it just keeps beeping and beeping and beeping. But, <laughs> like I was talking about, I think I can get away with not going grocery shopping this week. I just gotta pick up a few things today because I wanna make that some kind of casserole chicken zucchini thing and then I don't have to worry about going grocery shopping because we have so much other stuff. I just need to get like a couple of the, the little things that I put in Aiden's lunches and stuff that he likes. And way the hell over here every time I park like way in the open away from everybody else I come out and somebody's right friggin next to me that happened yesterday at Michael's there was no one in the parking lot somebody pulled right up next to me I was like are you serious pain in the ass I know that people are just doing it to be a jerk most of the time because they're like oh you parked over here because you don't want your car to get hit by anything and like the day after we got the Jeep, I came to Walmart, or maybe it was, a, it was a couple days after, and I was, I think I was in the same spot, and there was no one around me, I came out and there was a giant truck parked behind me so close that I couldn't open the, uh, the rear door so that I could get the groceries, and I was like, seriously? I had to get in and pull up so that I could open the back door. <laughs> uh, I don't know what's wrong with some people, but anyway. I will talk to you guys next week. I'm going to end the vlog here. We, I, we don't have any plans this weekend for anything. We have to fix the bathroom sink because, did I even explain that? I went and I got longer supply lines because I was going to just get another faucet and the like the twisty pieces were even shorter than the on the one that I already had. So we can use the one that I bought, we just need longer supply lines. And I bought the wrong size supply lines because they're too thick and the bolts don't fit onto the pipe. So I'm just going to have Steven go with me tomorrow, return the ones that I got in the wrong size and get the right size because I figured out that that is what we needed to do and that will fix it. I just bought the wrong things, which I was pissed off at myself for, but that's it. I'm gonna go in now. I'm stalling because I don't feel like doing this, but 
need to go home and get my work done, so I gotta do this. I will talk to you guys next week.